We begin tonight with the latest on a bizarre story that broke last Friday. A Wasco man arrested after reports he was carrying around and allegedly biting into what witnesses say was a severed leg. That body part belonging to the victim hit and killed by a train at the Wasco Amtrak station. 17's Jenny Huss spoke with Wasco witnesses today and joins us now with more. Jenny. Jim, it's a peculiar case involving a Wasco man some residents describe as ordinary and polite, 27-year-old Resendo Tellez. One person I spoke to says Wasco is Tellez's town and people know him. Those I spoke to say Tellez was homeless. This Wasco resident on your screens showed me where Tellez often slept. He says those blankets are Tellez's. And a local liquor store employee tells me Tellez was a regular customer who came in a few times a day, every day. She says he never caused trouble and he'd normally buy a mix of food, beer, whatever he can afford with what folks gave him. As you can see in the security footage shared with 17 News, Tellez visited the store just hours before his Friday arrest. That's him in orange on your screens. The employee says when she first heard the news, she thought, no, it can't be him. Jose Ibarra, a construction worker, was working in the area when he saw Tellez carrying around the body part. And then whatever he had on his hand, he started biting it on it and everything. And it turned out to be a person's leg. On um, the video that we have, uh, it shows clearly that he started chewing on the leg and everything. And uh, yeah. Blank, his blankets, he owned, he owned to the guy, the blanket right there. It was slipping in there. Yeah. yeah. When I heard the police and I heard the, the helicopter in the air, I said, something happened. Oh my God, something happened. Court records, court records show he has at least ha half a dozen prior misdemeanor convictions, mostly for drug or alcohol related offenses. Tellez is scheduled for a court appearance Tuesday in Shafter. The Kern County Sheriff's Office says they cannot provide additional details on the case at this time. None of the residents nor witnesses I spoke to could identify the victim killed by the train. Jenny Hu, 17 News. All right, thanks, Jenny.